Hello everyone, my name is Eduardo Celeste and I'm the program chair of the European Master in uh, Law, Data and Artificial Intelligence. I hope that you can see my uh, slides. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time for uh, this uh, virtual open day. You are all very welcome. And I can also see that actually we have uh, as a postgraduate student ambassador one of our uh, Emil Dai students, uh, Loya. So feel free also to reach out to her and, and to ask questions. Uh, she's probably the, the best person to, uh, if you have any doubts about uh, the program. So, um, EMILDA is the acronym of the European Master in Law, Data and Artificial Intelligence. So this is a new international master program that was uh, uh, launched uh, last year in September. It's a program that is funded by uh, the European Union under the Erasmus Mundus program. The peculiarity of this program is that it's offered in partnership with uh, three um, partner universities, the University of Leon in Spain, the University of Avignon in France, and the University of Pisa in Italy. And we also rely on uh, three research associate partners, uh, including the ADAPT Center for AI driven innovation uh, that is based here in Dublin and uh, two uh, foreign research center. And on top of this, uh, we also rely on uh, more than 70 public and private organizations uh, that are helping us uh, uh, to deliver work placements, seminars, uh, um, thematic weeks, and uh, uh, the our, our, our uh, annual summer school. So, um, we launched this program last year, and uh, this was a sort of like big news uh, because this is actually the first uh, Erasmus Mundus program that is coordinated by uh, WC University, the second uh, ever coordinated by an Irish university. So we are uh, sort of like leading the way in, in, this, uh, in this field. Uh, and also because uh, this program is the first one uh, to uh, originally combining uh, the study of uh, law, uh, data, and artificial intelligence. So uh, data and artificial intelligence are, of course, uh, two uh, of the sort of like main innovations that, that are uh, challenging at the moment the development of law. So in order to equip uh, sort of like uh, the workers of the future to address these challenges, uh, we decided to create this, uh, this program. However, Emil Day is not only a, um, a program that is actually for um, lawyers uh, to train uh, students in law, but we do have a multidisciplinary uh, approach. We adopt a multidisciplinary approach. And this is witnessed also by the fact that, that we involve uh, uh, faculties and schools uh, from other disciplines, not only within DCU, where we actually, the School of Law and Government within the Faculty of Humanities and Social Science uh, partners with uh, the uh, School of Computing, but also in the other partner universities. So, for example, in Avignon, we partner with uh, uh, the School of uh, Law, Economics um, and Management in the University of Leon with their School of Computing, while uh, in the University of Pisa is their uh, School of Law. So as you can see from the uh, academic structure of the program, we offer two uh, study streams, a study stream in law and a study stream in computing. So also in terms of uh, access to this program, we uh, aim to attract the students both with a law and a computing background. Of course, uh, we also offer this program to uh, students uh, who have a degree in sort of like disciplines that are related to law and uh, computer science. So it might be um, politics, political science, international relations, uh, or in the case of computing, might be uh, engineering or physics and mathematics. So the two uh, study streams uh, share a common year. In the first year, all the students actually complete their year at DCU. And uh, in, during this year, students are provided with an introduction to uh, the topic of law, data, and artificial intelligence. So this first year is really to provide with the foundations of this topic. The second year, and so this is a peculiarity of actually of our master program, is a two-year master program. 
During the second year, the students will specialize um, and we offer two areas of specialization, data governance and cybersecurity. So the students will have the choice to decide actually in which area they want to specialize. And you can see that there is a sort of like a small difference also between the two uh, study streams, uh, between the law and the computing study stream, because uh, in the second semester, uh, law students will also have the opportunity actually to attend one semester at the University of Pisa, specializing in law and ethics of artificial intelligence. So as you may imagine, uh, we do have a sort of like a more complex set of entry requirements. There are essentially two. The first one is to have a relevant degree. So depending on your uh, background, you will have to satisfy the entry requirement of the study stream that you want to uh, apply for. for. So for the computing stream, applicants must have a second class on or undergraduate degrees in computer science, computing, or a related discipline. For the law stream, we, we usually um, ask students to have an upper second class honor degree in law or a degree which includes uh, law as a significant component. So as I told you earlier, it might be uh, political science, international relations, uh, economics. It does really depend on the uh, amount of modules, legal modules that you have completed during your degree. The second uh, um, important entry requirement is to have an appropriate language level. So this is an international program and is offered in different languages. So of course, uh, the sort of like the lingua franca is English and English is also the medium through which modules in, um, in year one here at DCU are offered. But uh, students, when they do their mobility period uh, in the first semester uh, of year two in uh, Avignon and in Leon, they will have to um, possess a, a basic knowledge of respectively um, French and, and Spanish. So we do require students to show um, a um, minimum level of knowledge respectively in French and Spanish. So usually on the on our website um, um you will find uh, all these uh, uh, the information that are here in the slide. So how to demonstrate actually your level of uh, proficiency in these languages, and very often we uh, organize. Uh, uh, interviews uh, um, if you are shortlisted for the program uh, to um, test your level of language. So why interviews? Because actually this program is funded by the European Union and we offer a, um, a good number of scholarships uh, every year. So for every, so for each cohort. Uh, so last year we offered uh, actually 17 full scholarships. This year we have uh, 23 full scholarships. That means that essentially your fees will be paid by the scholarship. And on top of this, you will receive a um, monthly uh, scholarship of 1,400 euro. And uh, uh, on top of this, uh, all our students will be, uh, will receive a, a full uh, health insurance. And this is one of the compulsory requirements that is uh, actually required by by the European by the European Union. Um, on top of the full scholarships, we also offer a number of fee waivers. So this year we have introduced uh, both full and partial fee waivers, which means that the students will can be accepted onto the program and will have a part or the totality of their fees waived. In that case, however, they won't receive the monthly uh, scholarship. So this is only to cover actually their fees. And of course, uh, it's possible also to uh, be accepted on the program um, simply in a sort of like in a self-funded way. So we accept self-funded students uh, and you will find on our websites uh, on our website all the details concerning the tuition fees for this year and uh, um, since this program is offered by the European Union there are also loan opportunities uh, um, so there are in a number of countries uh, um, credit or institutions and financial institutions and banks uh, that offer actually 
targeted and tailored loans for these types of EU programs. Uh, one of our uh, core missions uh, is actually to support equality, diversity, and inclusion in the program. This year, we have 17 students coming from all parts of the world. Um, of we we really try to strive to ensure the sort of like top level of uh, equality and diversity in our uh, court of students. And we do have also additional funding to support the students with special needs. So should you have special needs and don't be, of course, don't think that this might be an obstacle for you to apply for the program, please feel free to reach out to us and we will be able to provide you with all the necessary information to understand how you can better um, sort of like access this program. Um, we have two rounds of applications for this program. So one round, uh, so every year, uh, the first round is actually for uh, scholarship uh, and uh, fee waiver students. So we offer scholarships only in the first round of application and the round usually opens in November and closes in early December. So this year actually it closed on the 20th of January. And usually there is uh, a first round of academic review in February, March and results are communicated to the applicants in April. Subject to the availability of places, we offer a second round of application only for self-funded students and to cover the remaining fee waivers that we can offer every year. And this year, this second round of applications will open on the 24th of April and close on the 31st of May. Results will then be communicated actually on a rolling basis and uh, so that the students can actually um, start uh, all the necessary arrangements actually to come to DCU. The program will then start on the 1st of September. Um, all the instructions concerning the application are actually included on our website. The application is submitted through the DCU online student application portal. We require you to provide us with your personal detail, a copy of your transcript, evidence of language, and a short personal statement to assess your motivation to, um, to study in the program. You can find all the information on our website at www.imilda.eu. We are also quite active on social media, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. If you have any questions, you can also use the um, email address that you can find in this slide, info emildai at dcu.ie and we will be very happy actually to answer all your questions. I now stop sharing and uh, I would like to uh, thank you for your attention and uh, I will remain available here if you have any questions and uh, I can also um, sort of like reiterate the fact that, that the uh, postgraduate student ambassador that um, who is in the chat today, Loya, is one of our students. So feel free to uh, contact her for any questions. Thank you so much.